Hey, hey, hey. What's going on, everybody? Corey Dean here. Man, um, so to those of you who were, um, who were around and happened to catch bits and pieces from the, uh, attempt at a live stream earlier, um, I'm really sorry about that. That was, uh, um, that was my fault. I realized what happened later. Um, it was kind of, um, a stupid mistake, although considering, um, considering the reason, I think you'll kind of understand why. Um, we had a power outage earlier today, and, um, it was, um, it was nothing major, but, uh, the, um, the power company, uh, was, I, I don't really ex remember exactly what it was they were doing, but they intentionally shut the power off because they needed to do something at the main station or whatever they were, uh, so, anyway, point is they turned the power off in, in, uh, a number of areas, and, um, while it was off, um, I was, of course, <laughs> I was really pissed off, I was actually about to play some Plays Blue Cross Tag Battle, um, but, uh, so I ended up just kind of, kind of resting, I actually kind of took a nap, and, um, power came on not too long after, it was about 45 minutes or so, um, but when it came back on, um, I did notice, and I should have thought of it sooner, but I did notice that the connection was kind of unstable, just based on, um, a few random things, like, uh, uh, Steam kind of giving me a notice that, uh, there was no connection, and suddenly there was, and, um, I didn't think about it until I went to stream, and then I realized, wow, this is all screwed up, and, um, so it just turned out that because of the, um, because of the sudden power outage and everything hooked up, not being turned off and everything like that, it just, it just basically was where I needed to reset the modem and the router and, um, uh, it needed to restart all the devices connected to it. It was just some stupid, but, um, I realized what it was quickly and then got everything fixed so we're streaming again it didn't help that um i was trying to hurry so much because um i really wanted to get that stream up but there will be one more chance to do it um starting at 6 p.m tomorrow there will be one more um there'll be one more stress test for um bloodborne or uh dark souls remastered um i'm guessing just based on the uh, situation because I didn't really know what they were going to do and they start you off in the um, the undead uh, parish not the undead uh, you know not the undead settlement not the um, um, not the undead asylum <laughs> um, but at the parish and um I kind of get the idea that um, the areas they selected are good areas for for both PvP and PvE, um, and I was kind of um, I was like I was wondering what the extent of uh, you know how far you were going to be able to go was going to be. Sadly, um, while I was running out of time, because even though the stream was cut, I did end up continuing to play for a little bit longer, and I didn't really get very far, but, um, I did hear the sound of a bell, which obviously I knew meant that, oh, um, people are obviously fighting the boss and ringing the bell after the boss fight, um, because that was a feature from the first game, is that, uh, when you actually ring the bell, it was a significant story point, um, when you actually ring the bell, uh, any other players in the area can hear it, so because I could hear the bell, I knew that at the very least you could do the boss fight, which may, uh, means that um, you could do co-op against the boss fight as well, which is really cool. So I'm thinking that when they do the next, um, when they do the next test at 6 p.m. tomorrow, um, they will possibly be in a new area. Um, I'm guessing it, it might not be, but I just get the idea that they kind of want to run the stress test in a way that really pushes it 
with uh, what the online connection is going to be like and trying to work out any um, any kinks with the system because like I said as much as I love from software games there is they're notorious for um, especially early um, day one and and early in its lifespan um, the servers being not terrible but but pretty unstable um, so I think that uh, this is not only meant to get people excited for um, Dark Souls Remastered, but to actually maybe make some improvements to their um, online connections uh, right after launch. So hopefully I'm right about that. But either way, I will I'll try to uh, be ready for this next one. Now I know it's it's the 12th. It will be live at night or at 6 p.m. It'd be live for six hours, so from six to midnight, um, and so hopefully I'll be able to stream. It's also um, become available now to anyone else out there who um, hasn't played Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle yet. The beta is now officially playable for people who haven't pre-ordered the game. My buddy David Wilson just picked it up not too long ago. We had ourselves some matches, and we're probably going to have some more after I get done with the stream. But, uh, yeah, so to anybody who didn't pre-order the game and has a PS4, um, go ahead and pick up the, uh, demo now. Um, thanks, MLA. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, to anybody who, um, hasn't got to play it yet, now's your chance. Uh, it will be playable for the next two days. Um, and if you don't have, uh, if you're in a different country... Um, from either Japan or North, or, uh, I think, I think it's only the U.S. I don't know about Canada or Mexico, but, um, but regardless, um, North American account, uh, so U.S. in particular would probably be the best bet anyway. If you don't have a U.S. or Japanese account, just create one. Um, you, you'll still be able to play it online and there's no worries there. Um, and go ahead and check it out if you're interested. So, um. So yeah, uh, let's get on to Bloodborne. Now, last time we were here, um, we left off at, uh, well, the Unseen Village where uh, we were snatched up by the, uh, hang on. There we go. By the dude with the uh, bag who uh, took us away. Now, um, I did... Um, I did play one session um, that I didn't uh, stream live. All I did was um, kill that guy that um, took my uh, took me down to that area um, to get my souls back. Then I ended up dying to one of those stupid faceless guys, so that was kind of dumb. I lost all my souls, um, but uh, I did finally uh, grind out enough souls to get another level and. Um, I'm still working on trying to get some more gear, but um, one thing that I really, really need to do is um, when I go back to uh, the village that we were just at, there is a weapon that I really want to get. Um, because you see, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent yet. I think I'm. I think I'm about seventy thirty. In the direction of going for um, uh, arcane, but I'm not 100% there yet. And if I don't, I'm gonna go skill blood tinge. Um, I have gone skill blood tinge before, though. I admit the skill blood tinge build was much, much more skill than blood tinge, just like my skill arcane build. So, um, in this case, I wanted to do one that was more balanced. So, uh, whichever one I decide to do, I'm going to, uh, put a lot more points into both categories this time. The problem is I haven't decided which one yet, but the good news is I am pretty even so far at this point because, like I said, it was my priority to make sure I had, uh, skill taken care of first since you don't have anything really worthwhile in the way of blood tinge or arcane 
very early on. So, um, while we're still making that decision, there is a weapon that I really want to pick up. But um, to get it, we are going to have to go back to the Unseen Village. But first, I'm going to go talk to that NPC that we just met um, from the, uh, the Unseen Village, the church lady. Um, So let's see what she has to say. <coughs> oh, whoops. I went to uh, the uh, chapel graveyard. And I forgot to adorn my... Uh, my messengers. I'll do that when I go back to the dream. I don't have to go do that anyway. Um, anywho. Yeah, um, I didn't realize Eileen stayed there. As you remember, we both killed uh, Henrik while we were here last time. But, uh, So, um, my ultimate goal today is to not only finish everything in the Unseen Village except for the boss fight, which the boss fight of the Unseen Village is really tough, and I could probably do it right now, but it's not going to gain me anything important, and I really should do the next area um, besides that one first, because I really want to get that rune, uh, the rune tool, so... So this is the woman from the um, from the unseen village that we rescued. She's now here in the chapel. So let's see. Oh, brave hunter, you're alive. Thank you very much. The tower is in disarray, but there are still people here. Together we await the help of the healing church. I cannot begin to. My gratitude to you. The only thing that I can offer is my own lonely blood. If it would suffice. Now, this is going to look familiar. I'll explain it in a second, but I'm going to receive blood treatment for now. Yes, of course. Coming close. Now. Take my blood. So, there you go. Um, now, um, you remember last time we, um, we talked to, um, uh, her, uh, I think her name is, uh, Ariana, if I remember correctly. There's, uh, Adela and Ariana. Now, um, the thing is that they both give you, um, their blood. And they both will give you one vial at a time, like, um, just like, uh, Yosefka, like I said before. Um, but the thing about this situation that's a little different is that, um, you can only carry one at a time, meaning you can't carry both of theirs. And the reason is because, um, Adela, um, at first, it seems like uh, it starts as just disapproval of uh, Ariana uh, because she's a because she's a hooker and because a woman of the church uh, thinks that a hooker is impure and wants uh, wants nothing to do with her and um, does not like me to be taking her blood. So um, she would much rather me take her blood. And gets mad when um, I take uh, Ariana's blood. So, because I don't want that to happen, um, I'm going to take... Because, um, I'll just put it this way. Um, Adela is the only one who is really angry. Ariana is just... Um, she's the type of woman who is 
she's a prostitute she's not shy about admitting that she doesn't seem to care what people think of her um so as far as uh you know adela's feelings towards her she could care less but um adela on the other hand is uh, a little bit more um has a little bit more conviction behind because it's based on her her faith in being a member of the healing church and so um she absolutely um despises um the idea of uh you taking her blood and um is the one in the situation of the two who's willing to act on that uh on that situation that's all i'm gonna say i won't say what uh the consequences are all i will say is she is the only one who's willing to act on that and because i'm trying to make sure that everyone here gets along and survives the night of the hunt um i am going to play it safe and make sure that um everybody uh gets along for now at least so um so that's all she has to say for now um as I've said before, um, there will be more people that join um, that join up in here. There's um, more people that you can save, um, but for now, um, that's not too big of a priority because there's um, there's only one that's going to be coming up soon. Um, but for now, um, he's a ways away. So. Um, we're going to move back into uh, Yahargul, the Unseen Village, and we're going to start making our way through that area. Now, you got a glimpse of it before. This place is definitely a, uh, a strange area. Um, and there's a... Oh, um... Didn't I... I did upgrade it, but I didn't do anything else. Oh, by the way, I used, um, I used some more, uh, well, I used my twin bloodstone shards to upgrade my threaded cane to plus four, so I finally have a plus four weapon. The damage is really, really good. Um, so I'm trying to, um, trying to get back used to this weapon again. Um, now, this is an unusual headstone because it leads to the, the Hypogean Gaul. I, I never know how to pronounce that word. Um, the Hypogean Gaul? The, the Hypogean Gaul? I, I always just call it the Hypogean Gaul. Um, but I, I could be completely wrong about that. But you notice the abandoned old workshop is here too. The the hunter's workshop in the real world. Um, I don't know why they're both attached to the same headstone. I, I never quite understood that. But um, in any case, um, this is where we need to go. So we're going to go here. And as you remember, um, this front area, there's a, there's quite a bit of stuff going on just in this first area. There's, um, there's two, um, of those, uh, they're called kidnappers, the guys with the, uh, sacks on their back. There goes one. In fact, it makes things easier if you deal with them now. But you know what? It's too late. Gonna... Now, I'm going to read this note one more time since I briefly touched on it the last episode. But uh, I'll do this now one more time um, since it's so integral to the, uh, the lore from here on out. So, Nightmarish rituals crave a newborn. Find one and silence its harrowing cry. And like I said, um, the... The... Um, references that you start getting from here about a child they start to increase as well because like I said there's there's been a number of mentions of 
the moon, the full moon in particular, and um, now you're seeing an, um, a mention of a child, a crying child, and to silence it. Um, not exactly the most friendly sounding uh, idea, but it seems to be in connection with the ritual, um, which obviously this village most definitely seems akin to a ritual. Now, here's some other interesting things. I never actually even noticed this particular one right here, but this statue right here, um, it's a very, very interesting shape on this shadow, or on this, uh, statue. Um, I'm gonna try. <laughs> um, there's a couple that are coming up. The one in this area, I'm not going to fight, but the one in the next area, I am. But, um, I don't know for sure if I'll make it or not. I'll try. Um, this is another thing, though, real quick. Um, <clears throat> this character, let me see if I can pull out my, uh, monocular. Um, yeah, there we go. So you see this, um, this weird cage that this guy's wearing on his head. Um, this, um, you'll see a lot more later, but for now I'll explain what the idea is. Basically, it's a device that is intended to, um, what's the best word? Um, dull people's senses to the outside world and make them more, um, oh wow, those guys poison very easily. Only one poison knife and he was poisoned. Oh, that's good. That's very good to know. Um, let's keep the poison going. Because now he's already pissed. These guys get very difficult as they get mad. Ooh, look. Like that damage right there. But that poison seemed to work very well. Nice. He should die now before I even need to do anything else. I had no idea about that. A new thing for me. Don't die before the poison. Sweet. Oh, that was close. Yeah, these guys are very rough uh, early game enemies. They're they're not easy for um, when you're just starting out. <laughs> Could say that for sure. Um, anyway, um, how many knives? Four. More than enough to deal with this one. Okay. Man, good to know. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, the kidnappers, um, oh, one last thing, um, that's right, and I know this one doesn't open, yeah, okay, um, anyway, um, it's always like one of those things where, um, you run into enemies in this game and it's like sometimes <laughs> sometimes it's like oh all right let's go sometimes you see one and you're like oh no not again but uh with these guys it's definitely the definitely the latter that miss really how about a regular throwing knife that'll work <laughs> all right that's using your wits <laughs> okay um now if I remember correctly the item here is not worth 
Oh no, it is. It's uh, another rune. Um, damn it. Actually, a lot of people do the um, the quest uh, this area after the next one. I th I think. Oh, here's some more of those same statues that I was just talking about up there. And now they're in this position. They're in the crawling position. And there's good reason why they are. Um, as you'll see eventually when we get to uh, our next... Uh, well, not our next, but an upcoming area. But uh, these dirty broads can be a real pain in the ass if you let them grab you. But grab them and fuck them up. They're basically witches. Um, oh, um, in fact, I grabbed an item in uh, my time off screen that you didn't notice, and um, one of their abilities has to do with that item. Um, it was a. Um, I can't remember what it was. Like, what the. the um, the first word is but basically it's a type of eyeball in a jar <laughs> um, it's a ritual item so it's used to um, uh, access ritual uh, a chalice dungeons um, but the um, the kicker to it is that um, the eyeballs come from um, enemies that perform um perform witchcraft and the like and one of the enemies that performs witchcraft is these witches and so their grab attack is to actually grab you and gouge out your eyeballs which there goes one right there this is one of those enemies that really freaks people out a lot because it's waiting right here at the corner Although I can't remember which side it's on. So, be extra cautious and jump back in right after I... Oh, I thought for sure that would have set it off. Which side is it on? Starting to get nervous. I think it's on the right. There we go. That was close right there. There we go. One down. Should be one left. There you go. Oh wait. Oh yeah, that's her. Transformation attack. I love it. Now here's something that we haven't seen in a while. Enemies playing possum. You're not getting past me, boy. I ain't nobody's fool. Nobody's fool. Nobody's fool. Let's see. You know what? How about we give him a taste of the rifle spear? How about we give him... Ugh. Ooh, some blood files. Sweet. Oh, shit. No, no. Not you. Not you. We don't want... We don't want to mess with you yet. We're cool. <laughs> you, on the other hand. Oh, are you serious? Is he trying to get through the bars? He is, and he's failing. So I'd better get the hell out of here before he succeeds. Because this area... Um, is this the door that opens? Please tell me it's the door that opens. No, it doesn't open. What about... No, there's not another one on that side. Okay, let's go. Okay. I think I know the best way to go from this point, so let's just go. Man, I already have quite a few echoes um my ultimate goal is just to open a shortcut real quick once I do that um I should be able to um come back here and then gather up everything without worrying about losing my echoes because I already have enough for a level up now but um <laughs> enjoying my uh oh shit 
Piggy's, uh... Piggy's walking up and down. Oh, Jesus. Come on, man. Get your ass back down there. Um... Enjoy my near heart attack, David Wilson. Okay, anywho, um, this should be the direction. Is it not? Or is it the other way? I know this way there's something, so. Oh man, another guy that. Well, we're gonna take this son of a bitch on, because we have to. But, we're gonna do it with the blunderbuss. And. Some Molotov action because this is gonna hurt. No, no! Well, there we go. That'll work. <laughs> oh, wait. Poison. Poison. There we go. Eh. Oh, jeez. I hate fighting in these areas. I better transform. Oh, come on. No, I missed. I keep doing that. I land the parry timing and I miss the parry. Oh, well. Got him now. So. I swear, how many times have I done that? I used to be so good at parrying and landing my visceral attack. Now, I'm still good at parrying, but I can't land the visceral attack because I either dashed the wrong way or, uh, I just, uh, end up, like, panicking and, and ducking or weaving and doing something, doing something wrong. Oh, whoops, this is the, uh, this is the wrong, um, yeah, this is the wrong door. Ooh, but, uh, Got a good item out of it anyway. Um, this should lead back to where that other uh, bag guy was. Ooh, more frenzied cold blood. Well, we can open this one anyway. Is that guy still walking around here? Where is he? He's not here, so how about we grab the items we missed? Kill the guys we didn't kill. Go. Now here he comes. Coming through this side. I thought he was. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Now, I thought there were two in there. I'm just gonna, uh, for the sake of curiosity. Yeah, there are two, okay. That's why this area says, I remembered this area being very dangerous and that's why. I'm gonna get some more poison knives and I come back to do this area when I'm more prepared, but, um, in the meantime, there's one more shortcut door to open, which this is the more important one for gathering up the items because this building is definitely not the only, um, definitely not the only area in, um, the, uh, the Unseen Village. Um, it's the most obvious and damn pig once again some very and 
unusual statues. Now, the Unseen Village, as you can probably tell, is, uh, it doesn't seem like a very welcoming place. Are you serious? The son of a... Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> Did he actually see me? <laughs> Oh, he did! Jesus! He's trying to attack me. He's not going to. Oh, shit. There's an enemy over here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, he might be up there. Wow, nice. Three twin bloodstone shards. That's good. Okay, cool. Um, I wonder if Piggy is gone. I really shouldn't do this. I really should be careful and not do this. But... <laughs> yeah, he's coming back up. No, I'm not doing that yet. Let me do this at least first. <laughs> if you guys see what... I'm supposed to do or what I can do and then I were to die and screw this up when I'm this close you guys would be really pissed at me but okay uh... yeah we're good okay so blam there we go and here we are now we got that lamp <laughs> so like I said that would have been really stupid if I just didn't go and open that door now I got a nice shortcut opened up. There's just one thing I wanted to do real quick before we leave because I think that one of the items that I really wanted to pick up is right up here. Um, but I just need to make sure the piggy is clear. There's an enemy right there. Yeah, frenzied cold blood, level eight. Um, I'm gonna read you guys one of the descriptions on the higher leveled cold blood. Um, frenzied cold blood eight, as you see, is is obviously. Um, I think it get. I forget how high it gets up to. It gets up really high, but I forget exactly how high it gets up to. It's the other piggy. I thought there was an enemy in here, but I guess... Now this elevator you don't get to access for quite a long time, but... Um, once you do, this place will be very different. <laughs> Uh, I'll just say that. <laughs> Anything else up here? Nope, that's about it for now. Okay, good. Alright. Um, now, let me go back to the, um... Oh, shit. Yeah, the piggy saw me again. Piggy can't get up here, though. You just gonna have to get out of here, Piggy. You can't climb the stairs. Well, not these small ones over here, anyway. You can climb up and down those, but... And I hope you're having fun. You can just keep going up and down the stairs. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Piggy, you need to stop wasting my time. I feel like I'm talking to Piggy from uh, um, Lord of the Flies. <laughs> Shut up, Piggy. I've got the conch. <laughs> Maybe he just wants to show me the conch. <laughs> 
I have no idea if anybody knows what I'm talking about. Whoa, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Those damn ragdoll physics. Okay, there we go. Now we can go get some level ups and maybe get some new gear, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I can at least use a couple of those cold bloods. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wanted to read that description too. Um, let me go, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Piggy. Um, so, <laughs> fucking Piggy. Um, let's see. It's, uh, yeah, frenzied cold blood. Okay. Um, so the description, um, a rich droplet of cold blood containing blood echoes to you uh, oh use to gain frenzied blood echoes this manifestation of madness comes from a mind teetering on the very brink but has a sane mind ever produced anything of true significance um now you notice as the blood levels start to go up the references start to increase in um the um the mental state of the uh the original the the one who originally was uh the owner of the blood i guess you'd call it the person who originally had the blood flowing through them um <laughs> the uh it's like kind of like the description on the madman's knowledge and i love that image by the way that's such a badass picture of it um Skull of a madman touched by the wisdom of the great ones used to gain insight. Making con contact with eldritch wisdom is a blessing, for even if it drives one mad, it allows one to serve a grander purpose for posterity. Um, as I mentioned before, the great ones, um, they haven't been mentioned much yet. I told you about the Odin Chapel and, um, how, um, Odin is a great one who exists in voice only, so it only exists in sound. Um, what is it you desire? Great ones are beings that exist beyond the comprehension of normal, uh, normal mortal, um, mortal, excuse me, mortal, um, they don't exist in the typical sense like a mortal person exists. They have a, they're a different type of entity altogether. Some would call it godlike, but if you follow the works of H.P. Lovecraft at all, it's uh, like things like Cthulhu and things like uh, monsters in those, in those tales. Um, beings very similar to that, godlike and very, very powerful with extreme. Um, with extremely deep knowledge of um, the workings of the cosmos and uh, you know things like that, but um, but at the same time, never really referenced as gods, although um, referenced as to some extent deities, which um, were worshipped by like cultists or things of that sort but never as like what someone would call a, a uh, like in the same realm of like a god god um, even even in the context of comparing it to um, historical um, deities like uh, Zeus or, or uh, Poseidon and you know um different civilizations throughout history never never mentioned like that um, but also far above human existence so um, the great ones in this game are that type of are that type of entity and so you see um, when you see mentions of eldritch wisdom and of um, power of the great ones it's in reference to harnessing the abilities of of entities that are like that um, and as the game goes on there's a, a, you see it, it's kind of I'll just use a cliche to say you kind of see how far the rabbit hole goes so to speak um, I 
I think blood tinge would most definitely be worth it. Or not, not blood. Strength would uh, most definitely be worth it at this point because while I don't need it for damage, I do need it for some of the weapons that I'm going to be picking up along the way. Um, most weapons... I mean, they all have a primary stat and a secondary stat, but most of them require a certain amount of skill and strength to wield, and it's not... I mean, it grows by a decent amount as you progress, so... Later game weapons have much higher requirements, but um, anyway, let's get back to, I think I'll go with strength for now. My endurance, vitality are good. My skill, I don't have to worry about for quite a while. My skill is really good. Um, and this way I can buy a little more time before I decide on whether to invest on blood tinge or arcane. So um, let me go ahead and do that for now. And I should have enough left over farewell may you well, let me repair my uh Well, I guess that's all it's going to be for now. Uh, oh, that's right. I was going to see if I... Uh... Wow, I have enough for another one. Um, hmm. What are we doing with the rifle spear? What kind of damage will we be looking at there? Right now, this is at the threaded cane does one. F yeah, it does one forty nine. One forty nine. Um, if it got leveled up, it would be one thirteen, one forty seven, fifty. It'd be one sixty. Um, if we get this up to plus four, which to be fair, um, I can almost guarantee, even though it has B scaling, which is really good, um, I doubt I'm going to be using the threaded cane for, um, for a large chunk of the game, um, the rifle spear, however, especially if I invest in blood tinge, it might be a weapon I end up using for a large portion of the game. Um, what do I need in the way of blood echoes? Oh, only five. And what would I have if I get that up? 17, One forty-six. So that's one forty-six. One forty-six to one forty-nine. It'd be very close. Um, yeah, you know what? To hell with it. I'm trying to make sure that I have the damage right now. So that's priority number one. Okay. Um, like I said, my main goal at this point is to... Um, keep my damage at the absolute highest possible so that even though I don't have the best defense and even though I don't have the best weapons um, my damage with those weapons is very good because I've invested the right points into the right skills um, so um, oh this was what I wanted to pick up it wasn't this one it was was it it's not the gloves it could be the... 
what does this have? It has good defense in every area outside of the top three, actually. So this is good against Blood, Arcane, Fire, and Bolt. Not bad on Poison and Rapid Poison. But is it worth 6,000 Echoes? No, not yet. Not yet, especially because I need more of these. <laughs> I'm all out of... Uh... And they don't sell Poison Knives yet. So, let's see. I wish that this was a weapon that would be a little bit more useful for me, but not so much. And a Kirk Hammer, definitely not. I couldn't even use it. Um... I do have the stats for Ludwig's rifle, but that's ten thousand. It's twenty thousand, and I still need the strength. Man. You know, I, th I think I mentioned this, but I have used Ludwig's, um, what's it called? Ludwig's holy, Bl yeah, Ludwig's holy blade. I have used that weapon for every playthrough I've made. At the very least, as a secondary weapon. Maybe not even my best, but at least as a secondary weapon. It's always been one of my staple weapons. So, um, this playthrough is, uh, is one where I'm really breaking a lot of traditions. Um, but yeah, so, it's all good, though. We're, we're trying new shit. We're having some fun doing it. So, anyway. Um, alright, let's get back to the... Oh, whoops! Went to the wrong, uh, stone. Jeez. <laughs> brain fart sorry thank you guys for being here i really appreciate it again everybody um if um if anybody um i don't know if anybody read the description i don't know if everybody read the description i don't know how many people actually do read the description but um i um i wanted to bring to everybody's attention um while i have the uh while i have uh, um, a stream going on that uh, there are a number of endeavors that um, I'm looking into starting in the near future. Um, and I've kind of been hinting at that for a while now. Oh, oh you don't actually dwell out here. One last thing. Um, I want to... Um, I think I've kind of made mention a little bit of what they are, but, um... Okay, I have the Black Messenger hat. I have way more, uh... Oh, those are cool. I like that. Alright. Alright, there's one. Um... This is one that I really like, the urn. Um... Yeah, uh, we'll go with this one. The urns. I love that one. Um, they just wear urns on their head. Um, okay, there we go. Um, so anyway, um, I um, I feel like um, with the channel in the state that it's in, we've been um, we've been doing streams and videos and the channel is finally back up and running on a regular basis and I'm very very happy about that um, it's been really exciting to see things start to uh, start to turn around the way that they have um, the uh, the only thing that's um, been on my mind and something that's been kind of um, making me uh, what's the word uh, not disappointed but kind of um, something that I've been ambitious about for a long time is to um, uh, experiment with some other means of um, reaching new audiences and um, trying to expand um, the network that we have because I've said this for a long time but I don't know um, how many people um, 
have picked up on this because to be honest a lot of people who watch the channel are already people that play with us um but ultimately one of the biggest goals i've always had is to um spread the word about the channel and to watch the streams not just to watch the streams but to get people involved i would love to be able to uh have um interaction with our audience and have them get involved in um in streams that we do um and ultimately for the most part more than anything else um get them to take part in the games that i'm playing and and um you know if somebody messages me midstream in a fighting game and wants to play some matches i'd love to set that up um but there's also of course just you know i i like the idea of uh beating new people with common interests and, and if playing a game like this and somebody who knows this game really well and and has their own ideas about it i can bring up those discussions so um as i said before i'm not gonna lie i i, I would love to have more subscribers i would love to have more people coming out to our videos but um it's because of a real passion for the the projects that we work on and um so one of the methods that i've been thinking about th there's two main ones one of them is to um start moving uh some of our live streams to twitch um especially ones like bloodborne where it's it's a long play now a good starting place might be with dark souls remastered i don't know maybe what do you guys think about that uh, leave that open in the air and see what people have to say about it but the other um the other thing is even though i have started a twitter and i have sort of been um messaging um or uh tweeting regularly about what's been going on um i kind of neglected using it for such a long period of time and didn't promote it at all and didn't even leave mention of it in the streams when it first was made that there's only a a few people following and I literally mean only a few like three or four um but um the other um the other thing that uh has come to mind is excuse me um the other thing that has come to mind um is to um do a weekly um a weekly two-hour podcast um on um um either friday or saturday every week about two hours long just a weekly you know it wouldn't be something that would be daily most uh, definitely and it wouldn't be um you know extremely long um when i said two hours i remember uh mla kind of mentioned wow that would be long and i started thinking <laughs> Man, you know, a lot of podcasts go four hours or five hours even sometimes. And uh, three hours is pretty common. But two hours is definitely a, a very common length for uh, a podcast. So um, it would be something that I could easily commit to. Um, I have plenty of um, source material. Um, and I'm definitely the kind of person that loves to express my opinion on um on matters that are um related to my um uh, my hobbies and and my interests and um with gaming related information um a podcast would be really fun to do because uh, i never get to really um share my um my podcasting, um, or my, uh, my, inf what's the word I'm looking for? Gotcha. Oh, I missed the... Nice. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I never get to, uh, you know, go into great detail or discussion about um, my my uh, 
my real feelings about modern issues related to gaming, related to decisions based on um, my opinions on decisions based on the uh, game companies who um, uh, have changed the um, the norms. Um, <laughs> oh, the pig just got skewered. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the pig got yeah. Or are you talking about the uh, the developers at like Ubisoft? And uh, no, just kidding. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. Ha ha. No. Um, <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah, these kinds of things are um, you know, uh, I've talked about them with MLA, and I've talked about them with Mink, and I've talked about them with you know whoever has ever ended up in a party chat with me probably knows that you know I can go on and on and on about some if I have a interest in it because when there's things like that that are really interesting to me or really bother me or I'm some I'm really excited about or whatever um there really is no um no limit to how much I can actually um how much I can actually go on about it. Um, and in fact, people who are closer to me in my actual life really get sick of it. So, it might be something that people in my real life actually might be really happy with. You said, start podcasting. They won't have to listen to that all the time. But, um, but no, to be fair, um, and more to be more serious, um, a lot of it is stuff that um, I think people um would be interested to uh would be interested to hear and once again oh i forgot this was here new armor set i totally forgot that was here check that out in a second but let me just take this son of a bitch out um But anyway, um, and another thing, like I said, just like with fighting game live streams and just our streams in general, I I really want nothing more than um, audience interaction, and that would be true in the podcast as well. Um, I would love for people who have opinions as well to um, to chime in and discuss, and um, you know, let their opinions be heard, and um, either debate or just discuss um and it's uh it's something that i'm finally starting to um warm up to the idea of it i was very not really skeptical but just kind of lukewarm to the idea at first like like yeah podcast yeah that would be good but i don't see that happening anytime soon but as um as things have uh, as things have gone on and, and times have changed and um, and uh, you know a big thing is that as my uh, ability to um, <laughs> ability to stream and record and uh, play games that and then finally have the connection to be good um, all these things have come up um, I find myself realizing now finally more than ever these things are actually um quite possible um and from the standpoint of um what i would uh like to do not only is it quite possible it's actually um actually something that like i said i'd be very interested in doing um i just was hoping that the audience would be there for it. um Wow, he went through the damn... Hey, asshole. You know what? Actually, I have an idea. Let's see if this works. It does work. Once again, I'm gonna cheese the system, but it's cool. Now, I'll finish you off the legit way.
Let's give him a proctor exam. Did I give a pig an enema? <laughs> a giant pig? Me neither. <laughs> but Bloodborne showed us anyway. Um, anyway. Uh, so yeah. Um, so back to the discussion of podcasting. <laughs> Keep changing the subject. This is pretty interesting. Um, no. Uh, just to get serious again. Um, I really do... Um, I really do like the idea now, and uh, I'm just curious to see what you guys thought, and um, if you like the idea, and have any suggestions about what a good place to host it would be, a good site to um, to uh, upload it to, um, or anything of that nature, then uh, <laughs> another p big pig's did. <laughs> You're a little late, MLA. You gotta stick up with the uh, stick with the times, brother. That pig is already flash fried and ready to serve. No, I'm just <laughs> um, but anyway, um, anyway, yeah. Um, if you if you know of any, ooh, bolt paper. That's really nice. I've had fire paper so far, but not bolt paper yet. It's obviously. Um, the equivalent um, so anyway yeah like I said if you have any ideas of um, come on doggy come on oh I don't want to end up in front of this because I know it's gonna happen if I do this the other way you know what? Screw it. I have plenty of bullets. Fine. Let's go. Come on, bitch. That's a dog. There we go. Um, anywho, so um, the only platforms that I've heard of are very small name platforms that I know nothing about. So um, if anyone knows of any smaller platforms that are um, good and reputable and a solid place to start, um, Please let me know because that is something that uh, I know MLA has uh, been um, making mention of this for quite a while, and um, he's had quite a lot of um, quite a lot of interest in me um, getting involved in this, and and um, you know this would be the type of thing that even though this is a transatlantic gaming uh, branded um, idea. It's still something that would be mostly my project. Um, the people, um, the other people affiliated with the channel would certainly also be involved, but as far as like being around in every episode, most likely not. And even if they were around in episodes, they probably wouldn't be, um, they probably wouldn't be sticking around to, um, uh, narrate the entire, the entire episode. So. Um, I, um, I'm just letting everybody know this would most likely just be, n not just me, but predominantly, um, the, um, uh, another, um, uh, Cory Dean, uh, Cory Dean segment, um, which, uh, you know, as you've seen by now, everybody kind of has their own segments and then we do our group projects um, where we all play something together but we all have our own individual group projects um, and then our friends of the channel also have their um, 
their projects, which, um... Ooh, man, that was close. Like that. So, um, I'll just leave it at that. Um, I've been rambling on about it for a while, and I haven't been talking at all about this game. But, um, but yeah, um, I'll just leave it at that. If you guys have any suggestions or um, any ideas about where, uh, where to host it or um, what a good place to do it would be, any suggestions about what you'd like to see me do or cover, or if you think it's a terrible idea and I shouldn't do it, and it's a fucking, uh, what the hell are you thinking? Let me know that too. I, I just, uh, any kind of feedback would be, uh, would be good to hear, so. Um, or, or to be a little bit more, you know, um, open-minded about the ideas um, that people might have. If um, you think that's a bad idea, but you have an idea for something else that would be kind of similar, but um, would be um, would kind of serve the same purpose. Let me know of, of that too. I'd love to hear any ideas you have about what would be um, would be a nice substitute for it. So, um, we're not even a substitute for it, but just something that would be. Uh, that would work out as a uh, a new segment that could serve the purpose of more of a of um, more along the lines of um, opinion or uh, uh, something like that. Cool, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm cool to hear that. I thought about blogging, but I honestly I really don't like blogging. Um, and I don't know what it is about blogging, but it just. I just don't like blogging in general. It seems to be more, um, I think the idea is for me is it's more like focused around the, the person who's doing it and not around the subject matter. And in this case, um, I want to do something based around, um, based around a subject and a subject that I, I like a lot and that I'm passionate about. In this case, it would be mostly gaming related news, but, um, not just that sort of thing. Now, uh, I've made this clear before, and I'll just bring up this point right here, too. Uh, oh, jeez, I missed. That sucks. Now, I'm not letting this son of a bitch get away with this, but uh, this is the, uh, this should be the weapon that I want. Really, And I have no more poison knives. Um, so before I even try to take this guy out, I'm getting this. <laughs> That's it, the tonitures. Um... So anyway, um, uh, I don't want to discuss anything political or related to like controversial news or anything like that. I, I this is not a you know news and current events channel. Um, it's not a gaming channel. Um, I don't mind discussing topics of YouTube or YouTubers, um, especially gaming related YouTubers. Um, but, um, nothing about, nothing about Donald Trump and nothing about, you know, <laughs> any kind of, uh, events in the media that are covering, um, uh, you know, like I said, politics or anything religious related or, or, uh, <laughs> uh, to, well, what's a what's the word? Um, uh, the hashtags that are making rounds and um, <laughs> that kind of shit. That uh, political activism and any kind of bullshit. I, I I'm not interested in in going down that route. Not at all. Um, so um, as long as it's avoiding those sorts of subjects, it'd be fine. Uh, what have we done? We're at an hour and 14 minutes. We're still doing good. Um, behold a pale blood sky. 
But yeah, thanks, David Wilson. Uh, I appreciate the um, I appreciate the um, advice or the uh, the uh, suggestion. <laughs> um, now let's see. I can go ahead and go back. Once again, I've got a ton of echoes. Starting to earn those a lot faster, but here's the thing now. Um, how many... I have 12 regular bloodstone shards and I have enough for... Yeah. You know what? I think it's time I go ahead and do this. I better do this now before I... Uh... Which I'm sorry, I keep going back and forth and back and forth, but this is important. I finally got a new weapon. Um... And I have the reinforcement material to buff it up. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, the Tonitrus is a very interesting weapon. Um, it's a lot like the rifle spear in terms of um, being a weapon that has um, a feature that's not just a transformation. Um, it doesn't just transform the weapon and make it attack differently. Um, I'll show you what it does as soon as I... Uh, actually, you know what? Let me level up before I do that. Um, yeah, there she is. Welcome, Odyssey. Very well, let me... Um... Okay, that'd be one more point there and there. My stamina seems to be all right. Now, what would happen if I just put two... Oh, man. Hmm. Even things out a little bit more. But we're not going to do that. Either. That's interesting, though. It doesn't raise a single point into my uh, two firearms. Um... Well, you know what? Now that I think of it, um, yeah, yeah, I, I'll tell you right now, I'm most likely, at this point, I think it's just moved up to about probably 80 to 90 percent likelihood I'm going to go ahead and do it this way because, um, I just started realizing that I have that, uh, Farewell, that bone, um, that uh, gives you the quickening ability, which I need 15 for. Um, and when I get this weapon right now leveled up and you see its effect, you're going to know why I want that arcane. Um, get the. Just put all of our stuff in the Tetris. I need a couple more shards. I think I can afford them if I use. Oops. Use both of these. Those are worth 3,000 apiece. Okay. Because those are available, right? Please tell me they're available. Yeah, they are. Okay, cool. Um, 2,000 each. Four more, right? Yeah. Oh shit! But I don't have enough to reinforce. Uh, man. Bam. What if I sell something? Do I have anything worth selling? Um. Hmm. I 
definitely rather not sell. Oh, there's that eyeball. It was the bloodshot eyeball that I was talking about. Yeah. Um. Well, uh, this isn't going to give me much. I was going to say I could get rid of these junky. <laughs> So get rid of them, but <laughs> um, it looks like I'm gonna have to go and just. How much do I need? I could probably kill like two enemies and have enough. Yeah, I need three hundred. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, well, we'll just go somewhere and get some quick, uh... Ooh, I know the perfect place to go, too. We'll get all of it right now. Sorry. Man, I'm really sorry. It's taken so long to get this part done, guys. This is, uh, lame, but... Um, we're almost done with, uh, Yahar Ghoul, and we're about to move on to our next big area, um... Oh, I didn't even get to read the note. Um, shit. I'll have to do that when we go back. I was going to read that note right by the... Uh, where the pig goes up and down the stairs. Um, forgot all about it. Um, oh, well. Anyway. Um, let's do this. Oh, and I just leveled this up. Let me... Um, Didn't really get to see exactly how much damage it did, so, uh... You know what? So I'm gonna put these back in. Wow, I'm out of knives, too. I am out of everything. Oh, by the way, just so you know, the coins, um... You might have seen me pick up the coins. They're kind of like a way to, uh... Oh, whoops. I used the, uh, wrong item there. Oh well, I can go back to the church and uh, get it. Hey, asshole, get over here. There you go. Uh, you won't come over here? Now you'll come over here, huh? Oh, come on. Come on. Ah. Oh, I missed. Are you... Damn it. You know what? I'm using the rifle spears weapon. And I kind of got confused. I thought I was still using the double pistol. Come on. There we go. Okay, that'll work. Well, that's enough. Although... Not quite enough for more than that. Why don't I just get an insurance policy just to be sure? Okay. I've been waiting for the Tonitrus for quite some time now, actually, too, to be honest, because it's, um,. It's one of those weapons tailor-made for, uh... <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um... It's one of those weapons tailor-made for a arcane build, and, um... Whether you're using skill or, uh, strength or not, um... It's the kind of weapon that is... Oh, shit! <laughs> well, I can get some blood bullets back. Blood vials. Doing very well stocking up on items there, too. So let's do this. Uh, 
I had better, once again, I just want to make sure I don't want to have to come back and do it all over again. This should work just fine. I just don't want to get both of them on me at the same time. Come on. Come on, bitch. Hello. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that one. There we go. Son of a bitch. Show you. What happens to people when they trick me? Okay. 995. That should be. That should be good. Okay, let's get the hell out of here before I fucking get carried away. I have to wipe out half of Central Yarnum again. Okay. Sorry about all that, guys. Jeez. Um, okay, now, we're about to get the Tonitrus leveled up, and now you will see why I, um, I really wanted this weapon working. Um, here we go. Plus three and plus four. Okay. Now, in blood gem fortification, I am actually going to. Well, the first question is, what am I taking out? Twelve plus fifteen. Oh man, it is a damn good thing I put in two points into strength. Man, that was a lucky break, because it's twelve for. Uh... It's 12, man, I wasn't even thinking about the strength attribute requirement, but hey, it worked out, so, okay, it's 112 plus 15, um, the space damage is already higher than the threaded cane, although, um, that's not too big of a deal, but, okay, so in this one we have... I'm not going to be using charge attacks, most likely, but I still might need to use that. Oh, wait. What's on this one? Oh, uh, okay, now this one might be a better... Because the rally potential, I think... You know what? Yeah, he's only going to lose point, uh, uh, two attack points um, if I switch it with that one. Switch it with that one. Then, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to be using the saw spear for quite a while, so... I'm going to go ahead and take both the gems off of this one. Um, okay, that's cool. Um, because this one does the same damage, it just doesn't have the charge attack up. Bonus, so that's cool. Okay. Um, I still don't have really a blunt weapon. Um, okay, that should work fine. All right, let's do this. Um, okay, two point one, and then this will really raise it up. Yeah, there we go. And then that'll give me better rally potential because. Uh, so that, like I said before, if anybody missed that, uh, rally potential means that uh, after you got hit in that short window of time where you can attack and regain some of your health, 
um, the uh, um, rally potential percentage is the bonus to the health that you get back for strikes. So um, now, as you look at the screen, you notice one thing: there's a bolt attack attached to this. So there's actually lightning damage, but um, you'll notice when I equip this um, that it's going to seem kind of weird. It doesn't look like it has any bolt damage on it. And let me check the stats. So, oh, holy hell, 191? Jeez. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it does have lightning damage, but wait till you see this. This is the... Uh, this is its transformation. Blam! And there you go. Way more. And now that just jumped up to... Oh. <laughs> it doesn't last very long, as you see. But it was at 340 while that was active. So, <laughs> that's one hell of a boost. Um, oh, I need to repair. Um, this was one major reason why Arcane damage was a big deal for me um so yeah that's um oh there's one last thing i wanted to see you know what i better do this now because i forgot all about this yeah that's sick isn't it <laughs> um I really wanted to get this to have the um, HP regeneration ability, but you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to take the... Um, because this doesn't add any damage. All it does is heal you while you're using it. And since I am not going to be using the rifle spear, I'm not going to be having a weapon that's going to uh, be in my hand. And going to be um, constantly capable of healing me. So, I'm going to put this back into the blunderbuss. So that if I need to have damage regenerated, I could keep it in my gun and do it that way. Um, you know what? I'll go back when I can go back to um, that area. Because I'm going to need to go back to that area... Um, not too long from now to kill the boss. Um, but for now, let's go back to Cathedral Ward. Because now we can move on to the next area. Finally moving into the territories of um, our next major area. And sorry, MLA. I don't think we're going to be getting to a boss this time. But we're going to be getting into a whole big new area. And this one is... Um, it's not particularly... Um, revealing as far as like plot points related to like healing church or anything but um there's a lot of how do i put it you get a lot of insight into um the uh the population of yarnum on the night of the hunt and um what their um what their mental state is like and what uh, what kinds of people there are what they do um, it's pretty uh, well it's pretty revealing in, of those sorts of things yeah I didn't want to disappoint you because um this area isn't particularly tough, but it is fairly long. This is um, about. Um, yes, I want some more blood. Um, yeah, I didn't want you to get too excited because this area is not quite as big as uh, Old Yarnum, but it's sort of the same kind of area. Um, oh, you know what? I did forget one downside to the Tonitrus, which is, um, 
if I remember correctly, when you use the Tonitrus with the lightning ability active, it um, lowers its durability by quite a bit. Aww. Man, look at that damage. Beautiful. Alright. So I'm gonna try and be sparing with this. Um... When? With David Wilson? <laughs> On my live stream last time. There we go. That's how you parry, motherfucker. Today, you mean the two you had with me where you beat me because I completely freaking wasn't prepared and uh, <laughs> yeah, never mind. Anyway, <laughs> I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the gesture, but uh, no, they weren't for me. No, <laughs> they're a demonstration of exactly why I. Uh, get angry with myself for getting excited for getting a game while it's in beta and then I don't spend enough time working on it and then I get my ass handed to me and get upset wondering why I'm getting whooped uh, but I really wouldn't have minded uh, uh, never mind I, I'll just stop there because uh, yeah I'm just say no I appreciate the gesture though, thank you. Where'd the other one go? Now, this happened to me the last time I came here. Where'd that bat, is he? Oh, he's stuck behind the other one. There we go. Oh, this is a tight spot for this. That's what she said. Shit. <laughs> that was a terrible part. But it was still funny. Okay. The other one should be coming pretty quick. Man, look at that damage. Ooh, another blue elixir. Um, you might have noticed the blue elixir in my inventory. Um, it's actually, um, in the right places, it is a very, very, very good item. Um, it makes you not completely invisible, but sort of like, um, very highly transparent to where there's just a very faint out uh, very faint um, almost ghost like um, visibility of yourself and um, it allows you to sneak by enemies a lot easier um, and remain undetected because um, of the vision um, being so heavily impaired. Um, now, in some spots of the game, it's absolutely useless, but there are a few spots where 
it is extremely crucial. Um, in particular, I'll just mention there's one spot in the game where there are these monsters on one end of the um, one end of the map, and they're very, very far away. But they can see you from that distance, and they will throw rocks at you. Big, big, big rocks. Boulders. And um, those boulders do a shit ton of damage. Um, oh, I do not want to get hit with that too much. But anyway, using a blue elixir against those enemies is absolutely perfect, because it... Uh, Now these guys are just like the other church hunters, but they freaking have those weapons. And these weapons are a lot worse because they cause a uh, frenzy. And we haven't run across frenzy yet, but um, it's a very nasty ability, um, to say the least. That. Um, It's sort of like, uh, if any of you have ever played Dark Souls, um, it, uh, thank you, um, it, as soon as, as soon as the frenzy gauge fills all the way up, it takes a big chunk of your life away, um, and if you have any health missing at all, usually, it's enough to kill you, um, so, um, there's an item called sedatives. That's the item to counteract, um, to counteract that status effect, to counteract, uh, blah, 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 um, frenzy. But, um, it's not an attribute you see very often until late game. One thing, though, that a lot of people don't know about frenzy is that the more insight you have, the more affected you are by frenzy. Um, okay. Um, now I could move on. I and I should move on to the next area. But there's one other thing I can do here. There's a few items to collect. But um, if I'm going to try and collect them, they are here in this area. And there's one problem. There are, there's one right there, and the other one, I believe, is, where is the other one? I think he's on the steps. Let me get out the binocular. The first one, the second one is... Well, I can't see the second one, but there are two hunters down there. Um, and they can be very difficult. <laughs> um, in fact, one of them has the Tonitrus. And, actually, now that I think about it, since one of them has the Tonitrus, it'd probably be a really good idea to switch over to Henrik's Hunter Garb. Because it's also a blunt weapon, so I think the standard hunter gloves work best there. Um,
Yeah, I think we agree with that. Um, you know what? If it doesn't work, I'll just freaking get the hell out of here. But, even though, <laughs> and I just, uh, what kind of damage are we looking at here? One forty-seven. It's still not bad. Um, the Tonitrus is definitely not going to work on this guy. So, because he's not going to be weak to electricity, he's going to be using electricity. So, frenzied cold blood. Oh, there's the other hunter. Ah, uh, that's right. He's got Ludwig's rifle and um, the. Uh, he's got the. Uh, Rifle spear. This is probably not going to work out too well. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> you know what? It might be a good idea. Let's see if this helps. <laughs> actually might help pretty well. As long as I can fight one at a time, I should be alright. Jesus. Are you serious? Oh, jeez. There goes my last knife. He's sitting there using his gun. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Really? Here. Use this. Get some health back if we do this. Oh, shit. Almost. Damn it. Oh, die, you dick. There we go. Okay. One down. You know, it's crazy that, uh, that blue elixir actually worked pretty well. I only have one left, but, um,. I've got good lightning defense, and this guy, what's the weapon he's using besides the Tonitrus? Yeah, that was rough, man. We got a whole nother hunter to deal with. Um, although, let's hope he's not as gun happy. Oh, he's got a shield. Well, he's definitely not going to be as gun happy. He's going to be relying on Tonitrus. But I've got a great weapon for that. And I got great armor for that. Oh. Now, this weapon did lose a bit of its tracking because back in the day, that would have hit. <laughs> See if I can parry this guy. Oh. Hmm. Here, switch to this. Yeah, 
Yeah, this guy's not gonna last. The other one was way harder than that. All right. Yeah, all guns do, um... Ooh, four more bolt paper. That's great. Awesome. Okay, cool. Sweet. That helped a lot. Um, one more like, uh... Okay, um... Now, let's see. Down this way is a dead end for now. So, uh... <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um... I always love hunter duels, despite how hard they can be. Oh, shit. You're not going anywhere. You're giving me my gems. There you go. Three of them. And they're just regular shards, but that's all right. Now, that's the path that doesn't go anywhere yet. Um, anyway. Um, I thought that that curved around the other way. I guess not. Um... Nothing really interesting from the dialogue here, but I'll just get it for the sake of completion. Thank you, thank you. It's good to hear that. Um, but yeah, blood, um, blood tinge and um, weapons, uh, or and uh, rifles, and oh, they also the same thing. So you can see where. Um, we are, we're right outside the healing church, and these houses, the, uh, the residents, uh, bless us with blood. Bless us with blood. You can tell this area is sort of surrounded by true believers. Um, obviously ones who have been, um, exposed to the, um, the healing church and the church ministers for a long time now. And, um... As I mentioned before, um, the healing church was not very subtle about its methods um, of um, getting people to uh, go along with what they wanted. Now, this is the Grand Cathedral, but um, we're not going in there yet because that is where a boss fight is, and um, it's a really tough boss fight, and we're going to need to have the runes before we do it. So... Um, gonna move on to here I did go down this way the last time I played um, to get a little extra experience I moved on to make sure that this was the way I was supposed to go um, and yes indeed it is because uh, there was a couple items that I picked up I think one was cold blood and the other was I don't even remember it wasn't anything special but um, anyway oh yeah that's right so this is where we're going. Um, Hemwick. So, gonna make it to Hemwick for sure by this episode. But this part is kind of tricky. The woods here are not long at all. This is a very short woodland area, but the amount of enemies in this area and how easy it is to get mobbed and overwhelmed is just <laughs> it is not fun not fun at all um, in fact considering those situations I'm going to switch that go back to uh, I didn't even look at this but uh, no it's not going to work Anything here that can increase my standard physical defense? No. This is the absolute highest. Hmm. And what about gloves? Nothing? These, but they decrease everything else. Ooh. Ooh, this is good for this area. Yeah, because it decreases defense to 
stat or other effects, but nobody uses uh, flame or bolt here. So, oh, uh, let me switch back to my speaking of bolt and flame. Let me switch back to this. I better get my throwable items out of any sort. Oh, and it probably wouldn't be a bad idea. have yeah no oh wait bolt paper that was what I wanted to use okay there we go alright we're good to go um so yeah we're gonna have to go through these woods right here and this is not gonna be fun but And, oh, that's right. These are where you first start seeing these dogs. Now, look at this fucking crazy son of a bitch. That's not a normal dog. <laughs> that's right. So, I'm going to try to... The, the biggest problem is... I use the monocular, and um, there are guys standing, and they're very well camouflaged, and they're all rifle. Like, you notice all of these guys have rifles here, all of them. Um, so what I'm ultimately trying to do is I'm going to try and pass through here, um, because right on the other side of this forest is a lantern, right off right right outside of Hemwick Village. Um, and then, once I get that lantern, go back and get my echoes all spent, come back, clear this area out of items, and then finally move on to uh, Hemwick from there. Um, but, there's one of them. Um, this one at least is out in the open. That dog's gonna catch on to us first. Oh, maybe not. Man, my damage is good, man. Come on, dog. I am the dog. <laughs> There's another one. Yep, there he is. There's another one. Oh, man, that was nice. <laughs> okay, my skill point allocation is starting to pay off, as you can see. I'm finally starting to see results. Um, my, um, my threaded cane damage is very good. And the damage with the tonitrus, even though I still have um, low... Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Even though I have low arcane, um, I still managed to uh, get a ton of damage from this weapon. There's another hunter. Make sure I'm not in the... There's another one. And there's another one. <laughs> See, this is why I fucking hate this area. Man. Oh, they're all facing that way. Uh-oh. Whoa! Okay. Took care of the dogs. <laughs> yeah, when they pop up like that, man, it's just like, whoa, hey there. Take it easy, Fido. Got that. It's almost like, uh, Metal Gear Solid. Run stealth. Yeah. 
hope that that fucker can't see me when I get to, uh... Well, you know what? I can just stick to, uh... Here, do it like this. Oh, shit. One hit! Oh, yeah. It's a one-hitter quitter. Now, I know there was one other hunter. Where is he? He was facing that direction. Let's see if I can get this. I really want to get this. There we go. Yo! Whoa! Forgot about that. Those will set off pots. Oh, he's moving. Oh, there's two of them. Three of them. <laughs> do I have any? I do. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's how we do. Oh, and I am getting plenty of blood bullets. Man, you know what? I can actually clear this. To hell with it. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm. I'm starting to uh, show once again why I was talking about it forever. Like. Bloodborne, Dark Souls, these are these are my games, man. This this is what uh, this is what I play. <laughs> um, okay, in this situation, it's got to be this. I don't think there's any dogs left, so as long as there's no dogs left, we should be able to handle this. Got it. All right. Nice. Oh, don't sit down. Stupid freaking emotes. I swear. As much as I love the PS4, the motion control idea is terrible, and it's fucked with me for so long. Even when I'm using it on the computer, because it recognizes, um... It recognizes motions on the controller as uh, inputs, and I'll end up, next thing I know, moving the mouse, or if I'm playing a game and using the sticks, my crosshairs will go flying all over the place, and... Oy. Anyway. So, okay, man. That area that I always fucking hate going through so much, and I cleared it in one swift stroke is... Or anything I missed now that I fucking don't have to worry about it. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Alright. Now we can go to Hemwick Charnel Lane and we can start moving on. We just passed the two hour mark, so I am going to have to uh, call it oh yeah, there's one left. And I think there's dogs with them too, so... Nah. It's alright. There's no way in hell after all that I'm gonna fucking... Let this son of a bitch screw me over. One hit or quit. Just making sure there's no dogs. No dogs. No dogs allowed. Anybody know what that's from? I'll be your best friend if you know what that's from. Bromies for life. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 
We are walking in. It's time. And here it is. Hemwick Charnel Lane. Oy. So like I said, um, this place, um, it's not particularly, yeah, no dog, no dog. Um, it's not particularly, uh, important as far as, uh, deeper lore, but there is a lot of information concerning Yarnum here, and it is an area that accesses, uh, probably the most famous optional area in the game, one of the coolest areas in the game but uh this area itself itself actually is also one of the coolest looking areas in the game i absolutely love the way this village looks it, it's like a blend of castlevania and um and things like uh what's it called dishonored um and then of course meets uh you know gothic steampunk it's just, it's fucking amazing so anyway um so there we have it. Um, we got pretty much done with uh, Yahargul, the unseen village. Cleared out all the items there. Got a badass new weapon. Um, finally, finally, finally got out of uh, <laughs> the cathedral ward and finished up everything there except for the boss fight. Um, now, um, I hate to say it because it probably looks like I'm avoiding the boss fights at this point, but all I'm doing is is just going through them in the order that you really should go through them in because of the fact that uh, as far as boss levels go, um, that one is much stronger than, you know, some the, the others. To be honest, the main reason I wanted to go to um, the Unseen Village so early I mean, I could have waited on that, but I wanted the uh, Tonatrus. Um, and you can see why, because uh, it's definitely worth the uh, worth the, the detour. But uh, and on top of that, like I said, we pretty much cleared it out now. All that's left to do is to fight the boss. And uh, finished up everything in uh, Cathedral Ward, except for the boss. Um, which, like I said, I'm about to get... Uh, to the boss that gives you the uh, the rune uh, tool. So once I have runes, I'll finally be able to upgrade my character all the way, and that will lead to much, much easier times ahead. So anyway, I am going to call it a day for there. Um, next time, I will be taking on Hemwick Charnel Lane, and I will most definitely be doing the boss fight there next because um, even though it's not a... Um, small area by any means i know uh hemwick charnel lane very well it's not a difficult area by any means it's actually a pretty er easy area as far as difficulty goes especially compared to the areas we've been to lately um so i should be able to get through it no problem and the boss there i hate to say it even though the next boss fight it's probably the easiest boss fight in the game but you'll see that when we get to it but anyway um Next stream will be coming very soon, possibly tomorrow. I don't want to make any promises, but uh, thank you very much, man. I really appreciate that, MLA. And thank you uh, to everybody who was watching today. I always appreciate you guys on stream. Thank you so much for everybody that shows up. I really appreciate it. Um, next time, Hemwick Charnel Lane's up next, and then after that, we will be tackling um, probably, um, probably the boss in the Healing Church. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's the plan for way things are looking. Like I said, um, I hope tomorrow, but if not, then within the next couple days for sure. So thanks again for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. And, uh, stay tuned to Transatlantic Gaming. There will be some more Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, uh, footage coming up soon. It might not be live, but I will be uploading it very soon. So check back for that soon, and I will see you guys very soon. Have a good one, everybody, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.